Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. This is going to be our standard tarot reading for the week. So if you want to get a message from the cards, please come on in and have a seat. We'll get started in a moment. Uh, just a few quick things. If you would like to see more from me, I have uh, included a list of my social medias in the description. Um, I've also included a list of the decks I'm using, as well as a timestamp, um, because there is a bonus reading included with this video as well. Um, I would also like to say that if you like what you see in the video, please go ahead and click the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons, and that way you can stay in the loop for when I post new work. And also, um, I would like to say that if you are in the area on Sunday afternoon, uh, I am going to be teaching a class at uh, the Boone and Mouse Emporium. Um, this is the shop of a friend of mine um, that is located in Claremont, California. So again, if you are in the area and are interested in taking the class with me, I will be teaching it. So um, there is a link to that in the description. Um, if you're seeing this past Sunday. Uh, I'm sorry you might have missed the event altogether, but if there is interest in uh, adding this event again, um, I will possibly possibly look into uh, doing a live streaming addition onto that. So it's a work in progress, um, but for now I will be teaching that class on Sunday, and it is about tarot and the history and some of the fundamentals that uh, beginners might like to know about. So I'm excited. This is the first time I get to do something like this. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Anyway, um, I think I've covered all my bases. So uh, I hope you are doing well and I hope that uh, this message finds you when you are ready to hear it. Um, thank you for enjoying it. And please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. So uh, let you know. Let's let's get into some cards, and we're going to start with some oracle cards. And then we're going to move into our tarot at uh, you know after that. Okay. So starting with our oracle. Okay, we have the sacred union, which uh, which says beloved within and relationships okay there's the sacred union okay all right we have protection which says call back your power cut the cords and soul retrieval okay All right, so there's protection. Okay, we have the cosmic heart, which represents devotion, potency, and making your life a moving prayer. Okay, all right, there's the cosmic heart. Okay, and finally we have Snail, which is asking us to lean into true intimacy. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, the thing that I heard in my head first was that there are some of you who are possibly looking outside of yourself for validation. Okay, I'm getting here um, because, you know, we're talking about the sacred union and this need for protection, the aspect of, of having to cut cords, right? And there are some things that, that you're possibly attached to that you thought might be giving you the validation and the confidence that you were looking for to move forward on. Okay, but the fact of the matter is that um, 
what you needed, you've always had, right? You've, you've gone through your days, you've gone through your evenings, you've, you've gone to work, you've come home, you've gone to your classes if you're a student, although uh, people are starting to go on summer vacation, in which case, cool, I hope your year was great. Um, but that's the thing, your personhood uh, is not the aggregate of all of the grades you've ever gotten ever right and it's not how many hours you put into a job or it's not how many um <clears throat> it's not yeah it, it isn't um your self-worth isn't totally defined by the effort you put into something like yes that shows principle that you're you're willing to show up and do the thing especially if it's challenging or hard but the fact of the matter and like I said you've always had the thing you needed to empower yourself and to make and to make forward progress okay this is why I'm I'm um I'm hearing this cut the cords thing like there there are things that you've attached to that aren't good for you that you need to cut off okay um because the whole point of it is to call back your power retrieve the parts of your soul that are um that are precious to you and that you, you maybe may have forgotten along the way okay um how do you do this? Well, first of all, you need to give yourself a chance to pause, to maybe take it a little bit more slowly, okay? Um, you are possibly carrying a heavy burden on your shoulders, um, but that just means that in order to lighten that load a little bit, um, you know, make it a lot easier yeah, lighten your load and make your make it easier to carry what you have. Um, in order to do that, you you may need to go a little bit slower than you might think, or take a break when you might not think it's convenient for you to do so. Okay, um, taking a break, um, but also knowing that you are whether you believe in this or not, excuse me, <coughs> whether you believe in this or not, you are, you are part of a larger, um, part of a larger energy. And again, you do have what it takes to succeed. You have the power and the magic and the potency to achieve your goals. Okay. Sometimes achieving your goal means slowing down and lightening your load, okay? So you don't have to carry so much baggage, okay? So that is our oracle reading. Let's get into our tarot and see what we need to see, okay? okay whoa, okay, that's too many cards. Got a fat chunk of those come out. Um, what else do we need to see? Okay, what else are we going to need to help us lighten your load here? Okay, what else do we need to see? Okay, what else do we need to see? Okay. Alrighty. So... We're looking at the Six of Candles, and this is the Six of Wands. Okay, and we're seeing the Six of Candles. Okay, seeing the Three of Needles, or the Three of Swords. Okay, got the Three of Swords. Alrighty, and we have the Nine of Presence or the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, 
All right. So there, there's been some stress along the way. Okay, you've, you've been working extremely hard at something, you know, something to do with your uh, your abundances, your finances, growing material base underneath you. You know what that means for you. Okay, you put a lot of effort. You put a lot of um, of time and emotional attachment into this. Okay, and you've done that because this this thing means everything to you. Okay, this is. This is that one thing that if you don't do, you will kick your own ass forever and ever until the end of time, right? Um, this Nine of Pentacles is, um, it's the spoils of your labor. It's the, um, the intention that you put into it now finally manifesting itself, okay? And people have seen your efforts. People are acknowledging your efforts, okay? And um, I like that I'm saying this because of our oracle, oracle reading that you've looked outside of yourself for that external validation. Okay, and to some extent you have received it because of the Six of Wands. This is achievement. This is, is knowing that you've done well and people are praising you for it. Okay. But the thing is, the thing is, and this kind of sucks, not everybody has wanted this for you. And I think some of them have been really vocal about it, if not outright kind of ghosted you or, or put put you in their rear view mirror. And it's like, but but I did the thing. I did the thing. What the heck? Why aren't you why aren't you acknowledging that? Well, you know, and some people won't. I hate to be that harsh, but some people won't. And that sucks. That bites, right? That's That puts a bleeding wound in, in your heart. Okay? And no, you don't deserve that. Okay? Um, the tough truth of the matter is that not everybody is going to want your success. Okay? That's gross. I hate saying that. Um, what you need to do for yourself now is know that you did the thing. You did the thing. Not this dude over here. Right? You did this. You can enjoy this. If they don't wanna if they don't wanna have a part in your party, let them drive. Let them drive. Yes, it hurts, but you did the thing, okay? You have people who are on your side who want to see you succeed even more, okay? And um, the sense of you possibly needing to humble brag a little bit is, is um, that's present here, okay? Um, but yeah, you did the thing. Not this three of, not this three of needles person, okay? So just just remember that. Remember your potency. Remember your magic. Okay. Remember that you have a support system right now. And and this is possibly the reason you're gonna have to slow down a little bit because there's something in your heart that does need to heal. Okay. So let's see what else we need to see please okay what else do we need to see okay um we have the duo in this case this is the lovers okay we have the duo okay we're also looking at the Knight of Demons, in this case, the Knight of Swords. Okay. There's the Knight of Demons, Knight of Swords. And um, we're looking at 
the Knight of Humans or the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, interestingly enough, again, we're being called to go slow. Take it easy. Um, uh, be, be present, right? Um, this is your chance to really figure out your process and how you are going to... What, what's your game plan, right? How, how are you going to continue moving forward, right? Um, you have, in this case... You do have options on your table, okay? I always equate the lovers, in this case the duo, I always equate that to having choices, having plenty of options, and um, kind of weighing the pros and cons of each. It's kind of similar to the Seven of Cups energy, except I feel like this might be a little bit absent of the emotional Right, the emotional connection to it. And I'm liking that I say that here um, because we have the Knight of Swords, in this case, the Knight of Demons. So there is there is some thinking to do. There is some processing to be done. And um, remembering our snail energy, taking some time to slow down and, and figure out what you need to kind of cut off in order to let some of the burden off your shoulders. That's going to take some time, okay? It's going to take some time, and you're being called to, uh, you're being called to figure out your sense of practicality, your sense, yeah, your sense of practicality, getting grounded, um, yeah, getting grounded and rooted in this process, okay? Um, because you have a lot on your mind right now, and that's fair, right? It's totally fair, okay? Um, but in order to make the best choice that you can, um, take it easy, right? Take it easy, take it slow. Um, what you're trying to do is lift the, lift the heavy backpack off your shoulders for a little bit, okay? All right. What else? Show me what else we need to see. Okay. What else do we need to see? Okay. Pardon me a moment. I will be back. We had a car just shoot across the room. <laughs> I apologize for that, guys. Um, but you know what? We're gonna look at it. Let's see what we need to see here, okay? So, um, we're going to look at the Emperor in reverse. Okay, there's the Emperor in reverse. Okay, well then. We also have, we have the Nine of Pentacles coming back out again. Okay. All right. Pay attention. Nine of Pentacles here. And we also have the Ten of Wands. <laughs> okay. This, this is uh, eerily synchronous that I keep talking about. Uh, the, it, that I keep talking about having this burden on your back, okay? Because that is exactly the Ten of Wands, okay? This is, it's exactly the Ten of Wands. It's exactly the Nine of Pentacles, okay? You have so much that you want to achieve, okay? And it's good that you've chosen to focus your intention on one thing, so it's not spreading your energy thin here. Um, you've put in so much effort, it's so much work, and you've taken on the responsibility of seeing this through to its completion. Okay? Strenuous task, okay. Difficult, um, sure, bring it. Bring it on. I'm willing to take this energy. Okay, because I know it's going to pay off. I know this is going to pay off. 
Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I th you've neglected other aspects of your personhood. Okay. Um, I'm seeing that with this emperor in reverse because, you know, you're not just a physical body. You're not just a mental energy here. You are, you have both, right? If you're walking through the world, you know, you've got a brain in your head, you've got a heart in your chest, you've got lungs that breathe and a body that's, you know, breaking down your food in order to energize you. Okay, but maybe you neglected to go to bed at a reasonable time. You know, you, this task has dictated that. Okay, maybe you've potentially failed to drink your water. Okay, you failed to intake water. Or maybe it got so busy that you didn't have time to even use the bathroom if you needed to, right? There's this sense that um, you've kind of relinquished control to take this on, okay? And again, again, you've done so because you believed enough that it would work, okay? Um, and that was a choice to make. Now you have some choices in what to do now right? You're dealing with people who haven't believed in you, okay? They're putting you in their rearview mirror, okay? But you have this opportunity to celebrate the success you've built so far, okay? What else? What else do we need to know, please? What else do we need to know? Okay. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Okay. All right. Okay. We're looking at the Ace of Wands. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands. All right. We have the Four of Coins. Okay, we have the Four of Coins. All right, there's the Four of Coins. And we have the Ace of Cups. Ooh, ooh, Bestie, I love this. I love this so much. And I, I'm getting excited because there is there are plenty of new opportunities here okay i'm looking at um these ace of wands and this ace of cups um there's a lot of new creative sparks coming in here there's a lot of i think there's a lot of really good emotional overflow coming in here there's a lot of positivity a lot of new a lot of new energy happening okay and it's i think it's about time okay it's about time because we've been stuck in this for too long right this this lack mentality this need to protect protect with a vengeance i would say um it, it, yeah, what we have, um, this could be money, resources, physical, um, physical things, but I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of this is coming from the fact that we've put so much time, effort, um, physical and emotional expense into building something that we can be proud of we deserve to be proud of it's at the uh, i feel like some of this has completed and now it's time to uh to relinquish a little bit of control over it so that we don't have this this burden on our back okay hence <laughs> this lack this scarcity that's possible that's giving you this this sense of discomfort, okay? Um, so, 
so many good new things coming in. So many inspirational um, thoughts are coming to you. So many new ideas. Okay. And um, so many new chances to, to grow emotionally, spiritually. Um, start embodying the lessons you learned along the way. Okay. Um, and that's... That's special. I think that's important to me. That is something that you've, you've looked for for a long time. I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is out of the blue for you because you, you've had the gut instinct that it's like, I gotta make some changes and I need to start with me in order to do it. Okay. So what we're going to do now, um, we're going to look at some hidden energy, we're going to clarify it, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to look at how we can make the most of the energy right now. How can we best use what we're seeing right now? Okay. So uh, to enlighten some hidden energy, what's going on underneath here? We're going to look at the Ten of Cups. This is the Ten of Potions. Already getting a good start. I love it. Ten of Potions and Ten of Cups. Okay. We have the Page of Humans and the Page of Pentacles. Okay. There's the Page of Pentacles. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. Perfect. Perfect. Love this. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Ten of Swords. Let me just get the Ten of Swords energy out of the way. Something hurt you. Something really hurt you. Cut you at the knees. You're you're down. You're not out. Dusty, you are not out. Okay. Um, because I feel I feel very strongly in saying that whatever this is, whatever this painful ending happened. The trigger for that was that um, the thing that stopped was meant to for your own good. And this is why I'm saying some of you got attached to something that you thought was externally validating you and not the case. Clearly not the case. Okay. But it doesn't seem to matter. Yes, it matters because it's hurt in your heart and I feel it and I'm I'm sorry to see it. But underneath, underneath all of this, okay, you have so much happiness coming to you, okay? There's an emotional overflow starting to happen for you, and it's well-deserved, okay? It's well-deserved because you busted some ass to get here, okay? You... Enough said. On top of that, though, you have um, you have a more rooted and practical understanding of who you are as a person, what you bring to the table. Okay, you, you know what you have at your disposal, whether this is monetary, material. Um, you know the resources you have, and you know how to use them to your best, uh, to your best effect, right? But on top of that, there's always lessons to be learned about how to do this, okay? Um, you know, there'll be situations where your morals are tested, where your values are tested. Not all the time are you going to pass the test, right? But the lessons are there to learn. And you're in a place where you can embody that fact. 
Okay. Um, I love seeing that. Okay. So that is the hidden energy. Let me see the clarifying energy, please. What can we do to clarify this? Okay. Okay. Um, we have the five of presents and the five of pentacles. Okay. Here's the five of pentacles. Okay. We have the seven of, yeah, seven of vessels. This is the seven of cups. It's interesting that we're seeing this come out. Okay. This is the seven of cups. Okay. Seven of cups. Okay. Which one comes next? Yeah. Okay. We have the chariot. Okay. And we have the king of swords. Okay. So here's the thing. Clarifying energy here. You, you know, you know where you want to go. Plain and simple. That's just a fact. You're going to, you're going to drive your car down the road. And yeah, you might, you might want to explore where it takes you. That's, I'm in. Can, can I come with you? <laughs> can we roll down the windows and crank the radio? Let's go. Let's go. I want to explore with you if you'll have me along, of course. Um, but this is definitely clarity about the road forward that you want to take. Okay. And perfect that you're getting the King of Swords with it because within reason, you, you kind of know what to expect along the way. Again, this is certainly some some means of exploration, but you you know you're safe, you know you're protected, you know that you're gonna have to cut some cords, okay, which is going to bring up some interesting decisions to make, okay. Um, but you're clear, you're definitely clear about what's going to serve you, okay. And even if, uh, even if you have to, even if you have to pause and kind of reassess and ask for help, it's there. Okay. You don't have to stay in a place you don't want to be in. Okay. Um, even if you have to ask for help, you know, you're still, um, you're still sure you're still on the right track. Okay. And, you know, if we're talking about being externally validated, people saying they, people could say they love you and they care about you until they're blue in the face. But if it doesn't help you move your needle forward on your goals, what good is it actually doing? Like, what, what is it? Was it, what is it really doing for you? I don't, I don't know. It might be, it might feel good to have your ego being stroked like that. But if it, again, if it's not moving you down the line on your goals, ugh, okay, it's just people talking, right? <laughs> I, hope that, I hope that's making sense. Um, again, remember that you are on the right track. And I think you know that you're on the right track, okay? So that was the clarifying energy. Let's talk about some some ways we can use uh, use our potency and our, our our magic. Okay. So how to use this? Okay, we have the nine of needles or the nine of swords. Okay, we have the nine of swords. Okay. All right. There's the nine of swords. We have the page of cups, page of vessels. Okay. There's the page of vessels. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune. 
okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay. Ultimately, I'm hearing go with the flow. Go with the flow. And remember, you have the keys to the car. You can drive it any which way you want to, right? Um, yeah, go with the flow. Okay, take it easy. Um, the waters around you get rough. Know that you're not alone. Okay, ultimately, I want you to see that. You're not making this journey by yourself. And remember that we did talk about the people who do see and genuinely want you to keep going and they want for your success okay um of course of course challenges are going to come up they're going to cause you stress they're going to be anxiety anxiety inducing but um ultimately there is an opportunity for you to take these lessons because there's there's lessons to be learned in all of this and you have the opportunity to put them to growing as a person as a spiritual entity okay it's there it's ready i think you're ready to see what comes next okay so there's that. Um, yeah, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. You got it. You got it. Believe it or not. Okay. So let me uh, let me put the pin on a rambling and the main energy here. Let's do a bonus reading um, and we'll see what comes from that. Okay. So to start their bonus oracle. We have the Great Mother, which says, trust and surrender to the mystery. Okay, so there is the Great Mother. Okay. All right. All right. We have the inner temple, which represents devotion and tuning into the portal of your heart. Okay. There is the inner temple. Okay. All right. We have the great Ser the great severing, um, which represents anger, conflict. Mars energy and the ability to soften to love. Okay. The great severing. Alrighty. And finally, we have the ladybug, which is asking us to appreciate blessings. Okay, so um, so there's the ladybug. So once again, once again, we're being called to cut cords. If you're skipping over the main reading, basically what I talked about in that is um, cutting ties with toxic energy, um, having enough belief in yourself to keep going, keep achieving. Um, you've made you made certain things happen for yourself and you know now it's time to celebrate now it's time to keep exploring right um and i feel um that some of you still are resonating with that cutting toxic ties okay um but in this case um there's the sense that you are doing so in a way uh, that kind of that aligns with what your intuition what your gut is telling you okay um you're following your heart okay and sometimes you haven't you haven't really listened to that or if you have gotten 
an intuitive hit. It's like, yeah, but I don't trust it. I'm comfortable being here when this over here is not good for you. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you, you've tuned into that heartful, mindful space. Um, okay. And that's how you're figuring out what to cut ties with. Okay. Um, and, you know, like I said, you know, you're learning to trust yourself because while you don't know what's going to come next, it's still, um, it's still far more beneficial to let the bad shit go, right? <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Sorry if you're sensitive to swearing. That, that's on me. It's my bad. Um, what this is going to allow you to do for yourself is to appreciate the space you have to bring in new blessings and new energy. Okay. Okay. So there's your ladybug. Okay. And fun fact about me, if I, if I had to choose a favorite insect, it would be a ladybug. Okay. But let's see what's in our bonus tarot. How can we use the severing energy? How can we trust our hearts? What do we need to know? Okay. All right. We have the page of needles. In this case, it's the page of swords. Okay. We have the page of swords, page of needles. Okay, we have the Five of Demons or the Five of Swords. Okay, all right, so there's the Five of Swords. All right, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Oh, and we have the Four of Cups coming out as well. All right. Let's see, page of needles. Okay. So immediately what comes up for me here is that there has been some form of internal conflict and some deep disappointment that you've kind of put yourself in for that experience. And it's not been fun. It's kind of been gross. Frankly, it's kind of been really gross. Okay, because you thought, you know, this conflict was that you made a choice, you behaved a certain way, you thought that those things were going to get you maybe, um, maybe to a state of emotional peace and well-being, right? You thought that doing this over here was going to get you over here faster. And the fact of the matter is that it didn't, okay? And you might have lost things that you valued very deeply, okay? You made a choice that cost you what you had, but you know what? You kind of got what you wanted. It's kind of there, but it is not, isn't there in the way you might have anticipated it being. So is it really worth it? Was this thing worth it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel good about this. Um, I don't feel good about this, but I, I'm a little bit closer to this. Question mark? The, que the question mark is what's causing me the internal conflict over this. Okay, because it could have been all of this. But you're, you're not seeing your part in it just yet. Okay? Um, if you're, if you are looking for, um, if you are looking to get to this state of well-being, you are looking to get to the state of well-being, okay? No question. Absolutely not a question of that. But there is, um, there is some perspectives that need to be explored differently. Um, maybe there's some 
some ideas that you never thought to consider before this. You're being presented with those now. Okay. Um, no, you don't know what what that exploration is going to do for you. Maybe it's going to put you uh, in this Four of Cups energy again. But the thing is, the likelihood of the likelihood of your feelings improving, especially where the situation is concerned, it's going to happen. It is going to happen, but you need to give it the chance to. Okay. Okay. And that's where, excuse me, that's where, um, let it, yeah, letting yourself explore perspectives and understandings that you might not have uh, considered is going to be what gets you to this Nine of Cups, the sense of well being, the sense of peace, this, this preparation for this emotional overflow. Okay. So, Nine of Cups, that was our bonus reading, and I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to call this reading done for now, um, but I will be back next week with a new one for you. Um, again, if you enjoyed this reading, please let me know. Um, comments are open. Um, the link to my class is in the description if you're in the area and want to join me. Uh, yeah, all the buttons can be clicked, all of the stuff. Uh, yeah, get in touch. I hope to hear from you. Um, until then, guys, I love you lots. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.